The council later learned that Mr. Kabanda had undergone several radiological examinations from several health facilities. Uh, we sought opinion from the radiologists whether we needed any further CT scan and they said no. Uh, it is not fair to continue exposing Kabanda to more radiation. So the document that we had was sufficient for the exercise. So the council lined up senior specialists to do the following. One, radiologists to review the radiographs, and two, the surgeons who included a general surgeon, a urologist, and a neurosurgeon for guidance. Their findings were that, indeed, there was a scar in the anterior abdominal wall, but this was far from the anatomical location of the kidney. On further examination, they found that according to the mobility of the lower limbs, it was clear that the internal structures were not tampered with, and that the incision did not go beyond the skin and the underlying soft tissues. The specialist confirmed that it was in order and a routine procedure to secure fat from the anterior abdominal wall to fill in the defi defect occasioned by the fracture. Based on the observations of the surgeons and radio radiologists and the examinations of the medical records, there was no kidney on the left side to be harvested. The council therefore concludes that Mr. Kabanda has only one or had only one kidney that is the right kidney. We are not satisfied uh, with the findings of the Uganda Medical and Dental Practitioners Council because their findings are premised on the report of the police surgeon who also relied on the report from imaging center. Because in their communication to us, they indicated they were going to conduct an independent forensic examination, which was, I think, as according to their letter, directed by the health monitoring unit of State House. That's what they indicated. We are exploring all the available options of uh, securing these uh, services from a facility outside the Uganda, at least to have an MRI done, and to get to the bottom of the matter, because we are talking about the life of our client, Mr. Kabanda.